to my beautiful children, Kelly and Emma. It is difficult to know where to start this story. By the time you read this, you may already know a great deal of it. If I am no longer around, it won't hurt you to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. I hope in writing this journal to achieve two things. Firstly, so that you can hear the facts directly from me, things I was never able to discuss with my mum. Secondly, and more importantly, I want you to know the person that I was, what I thought, what I did, and why I did it. I will have to assume for the sake of the journal that I am no longer with you. It may feel that I have not been there for a very long time, not the real me. You may find it difficult to remember what I was like before illness struck. Don't worry, it will come back to you later when the immediate shock has worn off. I hope this journal will help you remember that your mum was once intelligent and coherent. I want to communicate with you now as adults, even though you are still my children. When you are grown up, it will probably be too late for me. All my adult life, I have missed the presence of my mum. I've missed her in a physical sense whenever I needed some help with you two or some help in coping with the many problems of everyday life. However, in an emotional sense, I have missed her far more. There have been so many things I have longed to share with her. Joy and excitement, hopes and aspirations, disappointment and pain. Most of all, I missed sharing you two with her. She never experienced any of the joys of being a grandparent, yet I have never known anyone who would have fulfilled that role better. Most of all though, I missed knowing her, really knowing her adult to adult. I am afraid this will happen to us too. And this is my way of letting you know who I really am while I am still able. I will tell you everything right from the beginning. And lastly, I will try to record for as long as I am able how it feels to actually have HD. My own belief is that ignorance is not bliss, but fear, fear of the unknown. And I will do anything I can to protect you from that fear. Mum.